I'm trying to beat Stardew Valley with a mod that gives me only one single energy each day. Watering my crops? Not possible. Fishing? Not a chance. And I'm trying to complete the community center this way. In my first year, I, uh, bought this coop, and that was really it. But this time, I have goals of completing at least two rooms in the community center. And that all starts by planting my first ever crops. I want to take this thing down without using energy. Here we go. Because last time I remember I blew that shit up. And that was not good. Wait, no! It killed my rare crow? Oh. So last time I also remember trying to, like, place these, like, all fancy-like, and it just did not end up working. So I think the best way is just to literally do it like this. Now, I could make some, like, complex structure that would really optimize my crops, or I could just be lazy and do this. And that's what I'm gonna do, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to freaking set this sprinklers up. Everyone, all speedrunners are always like, it's actually so easy to use these types of sprinklers. I, I don't freaking know, man. I don't know how it works, but we gotta go to Pierre's today. Oh crap, I forgot about the quality crops bundle. But we need to start making money a sap because we need a lot more sprinklers. What farming level are we at? Three, understandably. So I think we just go to Pierre's and then we get 12. So we get the regular crops and then... The rest, like the ones we need for the spring crops bundle. And then... We put the rest into parsnips for quality crops, right? I just realized I have no money. Forgot about this whole thing. That was what happened last time. Well, that's not great. <laughs> now I remember saying, this seems like a problem for future Sean. And future Sean is here now, and this is quite a problem. <laughs> problem had and created. <laughs> <laughs> and now here I am dealing with it, and I'm not sure exactly what to do. Not a single spring- one spring onion. Are you joking? One spring onion? What is this? Oh, okay. Dandelion. That's pog, though. Now we should have enough to actually buy a couple crops. Getting a mayonnaise machine would also be really nice. Don't know how we're gonna get an earth crystal. Because I think the only way you can get earth crystals is from the mines. That seems like a bit of an issue. You're from the Trevon card, obviously. All right, I fell for that once, guys. I'm not falling for it again. You have to wait for summer to get the summer onion. Oh, I hadn't considered the summer onion strat, guys. You know what? Let's just sleep the summer while we're at it. Um... Caroline, you're weird. We should probably just put all of our money into freaking tea saplings. Okay, we need a cully, we need a tater, we need a bean starter, and I don't think we need any of this other stuff. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. We have four crops. That's one, like, thing. So we can do eight more. So I feel like you do it eight parsnips. I probably should have put some into potatoes, but that's okay. Why is Caroline moving like that? Am I crazy? That was wild. <laughs> Why is she moving like that? She was wobbling. Oh my god, please! What is with the- I hate the fact that I can't clean up my farm. Why did I buy so much goddamn wheat? Why did I think that was a good idea? I was doing a lot of stupid stuff last time, I remember. That much I remember. <laughs> Let's put all the good stuff here, and then we place parsnips in the rest of the spots. Well, we need more money to buy more crops, to get more money to get more stuff get more sprinklers. Wait, how do I have a cully? Dude, I don't remember anything I did last time. Why do I have a cauliflower? I'm so confused. Maybe it was from mixed seeds. Wait, why do I have 37 mixed seeds? Oh, dang. Okay, I'm definitely using those in the summer. No way! No way! The first crops I plant this entire playthrough. What are the chances? What the hell? No shot. <laughs> that is so funny what the hell what are the chances of that what the hell oh my god oh now we're cooking baby oh yeah profit is coming the flip in oh yeah look at this I didn't hit the cauliflower but it's okay look at all this okay can we get oh and we got a gold quality bro this game's easy should i go to pierre's and buy more parsnips for the quality crops bundle or should i just place my mixed seeds i feel like i should just place mixed seeds no i feel like i should go for the parsnips because otherwise what if i get like a bunch of cullies mixed seeds are good on average because most of the time they're either parsnips or potatoes okay i'm just gonna use mixed seeds and hope that most of them are parsnips or potatoes okay cauliflower 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 
What the? <laughs> okay, three cauliflower is awesome. And two parsnips. I mean, on average, I guess that's good. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> we don't really have the money to be investing right now. Oh, I can get a free 100G. Oh, boy. Free 100G. Nice. Well, I guess I could just put the cully in here. And then all we need is a green bean now. Sleep to Saturday. Go forage and make tea saplings. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Except I should probably wake up on the 6th. Where did I put the shipping crate? Why did I put it back here? What was I on last episode? You know what? I should be putting my copper in here. Oh, yeah, because I can make more uh, sprinklers, right? Because it's just one copper and one iron. Throw this in here. Ooh, let me go get the eggs for today. The problem is that to do this challenge, I kind of need to sleep a lot. But also the problem with that is that my chickens will not lay eggs when I mass sleep. Now we can make two more sprinklers, which is nice. The problem is we can only have one more cherry bomb. I guess I could just do like a slow thing where I literally like hoe one by one. We should go to Pierre's and buy some more croppage. And then we should just put all of our money into getting more sprinklers. You know what? The mixed seeds will actually be pretty good for uh, like making sure that we won't have to hoe the spots and the new season starts again. Because I that's going to be like a big sort of upfront cost. So we need a hoe. Oh, also it's Friday. So because I need to go to Pierre's anyway. So it's a win-win. And I'll also like have today be my foraging day you know we should actually save the fiber here so it starts spreading because tea saplings would be nice because that'd be a good way to get some money to, for some more sprinklers as well when does pierre's close five i feel like a fake gamer yeah. girl right now what's going on here guys i don't know what time pierre's closes i think we would make more money just repeatedly planting parsnips and then just taking the l at the end of the month with like either mixed seeds or parsnips or something like that i should probably save some of these for my sapling conquest that i plan to do i feel like it's not even worth really putting our wood into tea saplings is kind of what i'm realizing but i don't really know what to do definitely sell these spring onions and then we need eight more parsnips and we have no reason to sell this other stuff now so let's just keep it okay i changed my mind on this so let's use our wood oh my god i saved up a lot of fiber for this well i made five tea saplings that's nice what did we run out of wild seeds okay so we just need more wild seeds and we can start making progress on that it is technically profitable but it's just pretty expensive wait should i just plant the tea saplings guys probably not right why are you angry why are you grumpy there's food what more could you want you foolish chicken you have it made and you're complaining i've built a palace for you and you sit here and spit at my feet the audacity you'll be the first to go flounder all right okay we can do that all right put one down and then we can put one here right yes okay why are my plants all the way down there you know i don't that's a good question actually <laughs> i do not remember there was probably a good reason i just don't remember why i started doing that here comes the money 2500 i take it back on the tea saplings they were always a good idea all right we should go buy some more parsnips today actually oh and we got another quality one nice i don't think there's any chance of me ever getting an earth crystal in the near future enough for it to matter. Um, so I need to go buy some iron ore from Clint's. We can go afford to buy one additional sprinkler, which is nice. I'll go do that today. It's Lewis's birthday, guys. Should we give him something? <gasps> oh my God. What are the chances? It's his favorite meal. Isn't that a loved gift for him? Should we give it to him on his birthday? I feel like we shouldn't give it to him though. We need to get six parsnips. And then we also need to, can we buy a sprinkler? I think we should buy a sprinkler. All right, let's sell everything we got. Oh, this sells for 220. Nice, I'm selling that crap. All right, so we need six parsnip seeds. I'll buy a couple more. Okay, all right, so we need five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can afford to buy exactly five more that and then one of those because I think we have four copper ore for some reason back at the base. Then we could craft two more sprinklers, which would be nice. Ooh, I was so smart. I had exactly what I was saying. So now I'll we'll be able to have two more. Oh, you know what? If the queen is sauce is on, I'm guns to watch it. Give love to him. Get these eggs, which have been extremely helpful. Okay. And then I think our green bean should be ready by the end of this week. So I think I'm just going to sleep until the end of the week here. And then we should be able to do a day of foraging, sell some tea saplings, and call it a gosh dang day. Okay. Parsnips are done, which is nice. And you know what? I should have been cooking more iron, I realized, in this time. I did not do that. Okay. I'm just going to plant some mixed seeds there. Just hope for the best with them. All right. Let me take this. There we go. When you have no energy, figure out a lot of creative solutions to getting stuff.
<laughs> All right, put this here in case we ever pass out. Put this in here as well. Did they lay any eggs in the past couple days? They did. Awesome. You know, I guess we could go to the egg festival for the money. Couldn't hurt, certainly. Why the heck not? Okay, put that there. And then by the time all of the rest of our crops are ready, we should have two new sprinklers. Oh, you know what? I should go foraging today. Tomorrow we won't be able to go foraging because of the festival. Ooh, dude, well, how are we getting so lucky with all these gold star quality? Wait, and were all the mixed seeds I planted yesterday also parsnips? What are the chances of that? Hello? Dang, okay, I'm cleaning house right now. Let's go. Okay, the chickens still hate me. Well, you can't win them all. <laughs> Take with what you got. I would like to try and get two more gold parsnips by the end of the season, though. That would be really nice. Okay, that'll all be sold straight to Pierre's. My copper bar is probably ready by now. Okay, sick. So I can also introduce two more sprinklers into the mix. Dang, we're kind of killing it right now. I say with 100G in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> catfish. I kind of want that, honestly. I think I'm gonna come back and buy the catfish. You don't need sardine for a bundle, do you? You do. Yeah, you definitely need catfish. I wanna buy them both, honestly. So I might just do that. The part I'm still worried about is the crops dying on the last day of the season. Like that's kind of gonna be an investment that we have to do just like every season. Just basically deck out all of our sprinklers with crops that are just gonna die the next morning. But like, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so we got a lot of forage today. So that'll be a lot of tea saplings, which you can put into more sprinklers, which I don't even know if this is a good way to to kind of make money. Can we make bee houses? That would be really expensive. But it'd be nice because once they're ready, you can just like use them. That's kind of fun, honestly. Bee houses could be viable. But they're just, look at how expensive this is. So basically it's like 4K per bee house. I don't know if the upfront cost is worth it. What are we missing now? More dandelions. Why do we never have dandelions? We ran out of wood. Wow, that's not great. I just used all of our wood, but it's okay. Yeah, we could only get like eight more. So we'll just save for later. We can sell these tea saplings for a butt ton of money. It's like almost 10K. So, hey, that's worth it. Yeah, I'm a little scatterbrained on this, honestly. I feel like we're not really making as much money as I would have liked. And I want to just, like, get some... Like, that's why I was, like, leaning towards the bee house options. It's like, all right, then we can just, like, go out every three days, collect it all, instead of, like, having to do these upkeep costs that I have to do now. But, like, I guess once we have this all set up, it, like, won't really be a big deal either. I forgot to get my other sprinklers. All right. I want to start making sure that these are still going to be in range. So, this goes here, I guess. Okay, good. Ooh, look at this! We got a little stew going. And tomorrow's the egg festival. Ooh, level five foraging. Gatherer, baby. That's pretty good, because now we can get double forages. Ooh, 8K. Thank you very much. 8K. Feeling good. Well, we're going this year. I'm not forgetting this year. Oh, should we buy 8K worth of strawberries, guys? No, that's a terrible idea. All right, let's just do this. I'll have you know, I can usually pretty much consistently get 10. The world's record is 18, but, you know, I can get 10, so that's good. Boom, one. Two. Okay, nine. Oh, get cut off, girl. Ten. Can we get 12? 11. Ooh, this might be a world record for Shawnee. Ooh, 13, 13, 13. Ooh. Ooh, that was pretty clean, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, Chad, I kinda owned that. I kinda girl bossed that. That was kinda awesome. Okay, wait, let's take all of this out of here to see if we can make any more spring seeds. Okay, we made 20 more. We're kinda rolling in it. We need to go buy a bunch of wood, though, so we can make more tea saplings, because it's literally just barely profitable. <laughs> what we could do is just put all our money into tea saplings, buy the wood for the tea saplings, right? And then put all that money into sprinklers. Oh, my green bean is ready. My bean. Oh my gosh, wait, I can finish a bundle now. Pog! Are you gonna romance? I don't think I'm gonna romance anyone. I don't really have a goal to romance anyone in this playthrough. I kind of just want to get my money and bounce. All right, so is anything ready today? Oh, actually a bunch of parsnips. Not my cullies though yet. Do I want to do anything today? Oh, I kind of have to now that I picked these parsnips, right? Oh, I got another gold one. This is actually insane. Okay, let's go sell this. Bop, bop. And then we need to go get some more parsnip seeds. And then we can also get some sprinkler materials. He's married to the grind. True, okay. You guys are thinking about who you're gonna freaking romance. I'm worrying about romancing my freaking four. 401k, okay? I'm worried about tying down my savings bonds, all right? I'm getting down on one goddamn knee for my banker, okay? I don't care about love, all right? It's all about the money, baby. Oh, speed grow, that's pog. That's huge. So we'll go here today, put all of our wood into tea saplings, sell all that, buy some more sprinklers, and then we'll have like a good baseline. And then next season, I think we're gonna put it all into blueberries. Okay, that was really expensive. <laughs> and then we ran out of 
spring seeds. Now that there's, we're gonna have two extra dandelions, we can make some extra tea saplings. And then we can put that all into parsnips and then we'll be freaking golden. That will be rolling in money. We'll be feeling good, feeling fine. We have one piece of coal. Oh wait, no, we have these eggs. So we need to buy coal for every single bar that we buy. I'm gonna have to go to Clint's and then go back to Pierre's because I don't know the map and all this. All right, sell all this. 7K, thank you very much. Not as much as we would have if we already had the wood, but hey, we still made something. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna need like at least 20 more parsnip seeds. I know that in my heart. Okay, so now we can go and buy approximately four? It's like three and a half sprinklers, I think. Not that you can buy half a sprinkler. Or can you? So we get five iron ore, five copper ore, one coal. Nice! And we have the piece of coal at home, but... Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna have a good set of sprinklers, and this will be a good amount of blueberry farm. And I know I'm more of a melons guy, but we don't have the materials to make preserve jars. Nor do I think we're even high enough farming level. So it'll be blueberry goddamn summer, boys, and that'll be awesome. So we have preserve jars now, but that's another thing that I think is gonna be a while till we'll be able to afford because once again the upfront cost is insane. Wait, what? Oh, I'm an idiot. I need to get double the amount of coal that I got. Okay, whatever. Well, it's a good thing we have a profit day coming in because <laughs> I was buying one coal for every sprinkler, but you need to buy two coal for every sprinkler. Also, that was kind of unfortunate that we didn't get a single gold star quality parsnip there. That was a little unfortunate. These things happen, but it's not ideal. So now we can pick all this up and we can sell all this, which will be really nice. And we'll finally be able to get... The problem is kind of that we're sort of outgrowing this space right here. Because <laughs> now we're kind of like, okay, if we want to expand, there's like all this stuff here. Oh, did we get another gold star quality parsnip? We did. Okay, nice. We have all five we need now. Nice. All right. We need need horseradishes today and i think that's it you know i should pick up these eggs then holy crap that's a lot of eggs <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so we're gonna only get one more cycle of parsnips right if we plant parsnips on the 19th guys how many more cycles will we get one or two because if it's one then i'll buy parsnips but if it's two then i'll just buy potatoes two if you harvest and replant on the same day okay are you guys sure of this we're positive on this so i'm gonna be pretty upset if you guys are lying to me 60 percent positive that's not high enough guys we need to be at least 90. Okay, you have 2,800 from all that. And then I'm trusting you guys here. I'm going all in on the parsnips. And then I should go to Clint's really quick. Get the three pieces of coal that I need. Because now we need to save all our money for blueberries on summer one. But we still need three pieces of coal to get all the sprinklers that we're going to need. And then once this is all done, this will be a lot easier. Shop, one, two, three. And I want to also smelt one of my iron ores, right? Because I have one iron ore left, right? Or something like that. And then we'll go foraging for the day. But trust me, it'll all be worth it. Once we get to summer and the blueberry money's coming, Coming in, we're all gonna be feeling fine, okay? So now we need to just get as much tea saplings as we can, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We got 12 leaks today. Crazy. Um, what do we need more of? Dandelions? We're fresh out of horse rat eye. We can make a bunch of tea saplings. Yeah, we ran out of wood, but if we can get some more wood, that would be nice. Okay, sell, sell, sell. I do not think I'm gonna be able to do this in the dark. Okay, so this is a good spot. Okay, so you can place one there as well. There's no real good place for this, actually. Oh, wait, right here, I guess, would work. But I think I'm going to pass out. I don't really want to lose my money. Okay, I got two down. I'm not going to push my luck. I, d I don't know how many swings of your hoe you get. I'm just going to go to bed. And then, you know, the last two slots will not get an additional harvest anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We can buy another sprinkler, another two sprinklers, actually, and then still have enough income to buy more blueberries for those spots. Perfect. Okay, I can do that right now. Oh, I need to go buy some more wood, I just realized. We can do that today, too. I'll just use the mixed seeds as a restart bait. Okay, so we need like 150 wood, but I don't think we can afford that. Ooh, okay, we could just barely afford 140. That was pretty good, though. Then we got 28, and then we're all out of fiber, so tea saplings are kind of going off the menu for a little bit. Okay, so sell all that. A hot 14K. Sell, 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 sell all this. So we need, like, 30 parsnip seeds. I'm gonna buy, like, another additional 25. Wow, we can buy a couple more sprinklers, actually, with this money. This is actually looking pretty good for us. Okay, iron ore, copper ore, and another coal. That should be four more sprinklers so we need to be slowly every single day like placing a couple of our sprinklers so that when summer comes they're all already placed it's like a weird system but we can only like set up two sprinklers a day basically okay we can place parsnips immediately after picking them because then we need we uh, we need the crud seeds to be there anyway okay so we're good so we can put one here 
place that. Let's go get our tools really quick because then we can start clearing out like all of the areas around where our stuff is. Because also I don't have the materials to make a scarecrow shit I need to. So I guess I could eventually do that. But what was I here for? Oh yeah, my axe and my pick. That needs to be a priority of one of our days as well. You know what? In fact, I think that should be our priority today. Let us get, you know what? I just realized how annoying it's going to be to go. You know what? Fine. We'll go all the way. Over. You know, what? I'll do that on like a Saturday or something. The copper should be done now. So we should be able to put down two more sprinklers, which is really nice. Yes. Thank you. Well, we can put one here, I guess. Right. So that works. Placing all of these just to preserve the land. These are already being watered. I just realized we could put it here. That feels better. And you know what? This is going to sound weird, but I think it might actually be quicker right now to go to the flower dance than to walk all the way back to my house because then the flower dance will teleport me. Oh wait, how do I? Oh, I have to initiate the event? Oh, I thought I could just leave. Oh, all right, never mind. This was not quicker at all. <laughs> this was absolutely not quicker. All right. Let us sell these parsnips and then I think we should be good on hoeing for the season, but I do want to go check that fruit bat cave. I just realized how much crap is probably going to be in there. Yeah, because look at this. When will they grow up already? Why are they still making baby eggs? Make big eggs already. All right, guys. Oh my God, the strange capsule. Oh my God, that was awesome. Strange capsule, baby. Tomorrow will be our last foraging day, but today we see what the spoils of the cave have been. Oh my God. And it's all salmon berries, of course. What else would you expect from the fruit bag cave. Okay. We need the salmon berries. No, we don't need salmon berries because we don't have a sticky bundle. Plum. I, oh no, we don't need plum. But we need apples. Oh, we got two apples. That's pog. Because apples are the rarest one and you need the most of them. And then you can sell all this. And I think we should have enough to afford another sprinkler, honestly. And then tomorrow is like almost... Ooh, tiller! Tiller, baby! Go tiller! Should have saved all my crops for the season. Just sold them today for tiller, but it's okay. Tiller is really nice here before summer. So let's just start planting these parsnips today because today we're going to go foraging. Today's going to be like kind of our last ride and then we're going to go buy as many sprinklers as we possibly can. Why are you planting? Because I want when summer happens that I don't have to re -hoe the tiles. If I plant crops there, then they'll just be like those little things you can scythe at the end of the season, making like the whole process a lot easier. Okay. Sell, 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 sell. And then we need to go deposit everything else that we have on us, then finish our foraging for the day. Actually, you know what? Let's just do all of our sprinkler buying right now. Ooh, seaweed. So let us do... Bup, 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 bup. Okay, so that should be enough for two more sprinklers. We have a good amount of sprinklers now. I'm feeling really good. And then summer is gonna pretty much be a sleep-a-thon. And I don't really care about my chickens anymore. It'll probably just be a, literally just a sleep-a-thon. Just sleep, 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 sleep. Until my blueberries are ready, harvest the blueberries, and then go on with my life. But where should we put this? I guess right here would kind of work, right? Then make a sprinkler... And tomorrow we'll paste the last of our sprinklers, and then we'll be good, and it'll be summertime finally. Hmm. Things have become tough. I just realized by me placing this here, it really makes it difficult to access my farm now. Huh. Didn't think about that. Not my smartest move ever. That cannot be here. Okay. I need to be able to get down here, but at least we tried it. This is the last day of the season as well. Okay. So we need to like just put it here or something. And then just say like, okay, well, you can't get to do it all. That's fine, honestly. Oh God, we ran out of transitional crops. That's not great. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow in summer. I'm kind of scared, honestly. I feel like there's going to be debris everywhere and my farm's just going to be absolute effed. Actually, nothing really changed all that much. There's a single piece of fiber here. Nice. First things first, we need to hit robins. We got a lot to do today, all right, guys? It is summer one, all right? Firstly, it depends on how many eggs are in here. A lot. So we should be good, and I will pick up as many tea saplings as I possibly can, right? So let's count how many sprinklers we have. 17. Okay, so we need that. And then that makes some more tea saplings. Then we can sell all that for big profits. You're my favorite weird looking YouTuber. What is that? What is that supposed to be a compliment? What the what what the hell does that what? What do you mean? I'm your favorite weird looking YouTuber. What does that even mean? It, it, it is supposed to be a compliment. Weird looking. Okay, so all this 55 blueberries. 10 melons, 10 pieces of corn, a tomato, and a pepper. Oh, red cabbage. Okay. Oh, we need to buy one poppy. 
Perfect. So I think we need to just plant all this. And then I think we should be good. Just spam sleep. All right. Now we just sleep until the 13th. The ball is finally rolling, folks. Now we can take these days where these are just being watered. Just abuse and abuse our energy. And just freaking take all this out. Oh, they grew exactly one day quicker. Thank you, speed grow. I'm not going to sell anything yet because having the ability to pass out. So I don't really care if we lose this 500G. So I'd rather just like be able to pass out and sell everything at the end of the season and then buy a bunch of cranberries or pumpkins next season or something. Then we can now officially finish the summer crops bundle. And in the meantime, we can just pick crops, store them, and then keep cutting down trees for the eventual all the wood we'll need. Yo, farming level six, let's go. Quality sprinklers now. Thank God. This will be the cell chest and it'll be yellow for pissing that money away. Uh, you know what it actually looks to do? Red for bleeding the money away. <laughs> <laughs> we need to sell this, that, this, that. Oh, I can already taste the money coming in. Okay, we got good blueberries, got good blueberries. Still no gold quality corn, which is a little annoying, but it'll be fine. Oh, we got a gold quality corn. Nice. Hog. I feel like we're gonna be good on money after this, which I kind of want to invest all into uh, getting a bunch of cherry bombs and then just like bombing mines floors. Or it might be best, honestly, to just uh, grind to uh, mining level two and then just buy a shitload of staircases. How much would it cost to staircase all the way to the bottom? 10K per staircase? So to get to 55, half a million what oh crap how are we ever gonna do that in a million years is there an easier way to get a solar essence oh wait but you don't need the solar essence do you for the bundle it's like an option venturers bundle yeah we could just do the 10 bat wings and the 99 slime yeah we're gonna need at least 40 hundred thousand what the hell what the frick you can grow more blubby that's a lot of blubbies to grow i guess spring you literally just spend trying to prepare for summer and autumn and that's when you make all your money oh my god this is crazy why did i ever think that this was a good idea that's why we farm jade and a crystallarium how are we gonna get jade though i don't know how to get jade crystallarium we can get from vault bundle which i'm not worried about but oh yeah the wizard gifts jade i forgot oh okay okay i'm not worried anymore situation resolved next birthday we'll just go visit him Level seven farming, Pog. I do not think we're gonna be getting any gold star melons. Well, me sideways, I guess we are. And we got all the corn we needed. All right, let's see our big money come in. I'm actually really excited for this. Then I don't think we need any of this, right? Oh my God, I want it to be a lot. Please be a lot of money, please. I need money. I need so much money, please. <laughs> let's see our summer earnings come in. Let's go, let's go. Woo! 50k don't mind if i freaking do thank you let's go man and now we can't get through here so that's how we're being welcomed into autumn lovely already autumn nice to meet you now kind of what i want to do with this money is literally start another farm here just blow all this up with cherry bombs or maybe we just don't even bother with that and we just like keep sleeping through seasons that honestly might be better if we just get like 50k a season that should probably give us all the money we need because what do we even really need money for now you know oh well i guess we need to make a barn and shit like that that seems important you know what? let's do a community center drop off while we wait for pierre to open up yeah because the fish that's gonna be like i don't even want to open up that basket right now but we can do summer crops melon pepper blueberry tomato oh a quality sprinkler oh i didn't even know that was the reward for that that's nice fall crops put that in there and then do i want to use my apple on this Probably not, right? And I can actually now finish the vault, should I want. Don't know if I want, though. Then we can get this once we get the jade. We can get all this from the mines. And then that can also be bought. So the blacksmith bundle's done. Most of the stuff in the bulletin board bundle is actually pretty easy. I'm not worried about most of this. Fruit back cave and tapping. And the chub we can probably get from a day of fishing. Like, we just keep resetting. Sunflower I forgot to do last season. That was stupid. All right, the animals are going to be the expensive thing. Okay. Oh, but we also need a bunch of pumpkins for our gold star pumpkins so let's do like a mix we need eggplant we need yam 30 cranberries and 20 pumpkins but eventually we're gonna need another 20 pumpkins and oh sunflower seeds are also a fall crop okay sick do we need amaranth can't hurt to have okay perfect i think i nailed that backpack actually probably a good idea i'm tired of making trips back and forth backpack good investment and then we'll save on to the rest of our money have you lost your dignity first you buy cranberries then you buy backpack it's a tumultuous time for me, okay? I'm not exactly pleased, but I have to do what I have to do sometimes, okay? Sometimes what you have to do is not what you want to do, okay, guys? And this is something I have to do. The backpack and cranberries. 
<laughs> it's a terrible day for me. This is just the worst day of my life. I'm really sipping on the copium juice these days. Use fertilizer, please. How? 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 Explain to me. I have no sap. Okay, so I have 21 sap. Just don't don't look at that. Just don't don't look at that. Never mind. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! So we do. Bup, 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 bup. Bup, 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 and then we can place this here. Okay, perfect. Okay, cart day, and then cranberry day is tomorrow. All right, what do we have here? A truffle for 2,500. I think I might, oh, and a tuna, and a sprinkler, and an ancient seed, and a rare crow. Well, I'm definitely buying the truffle. That's gonna save me thousands upon thousands of dollars. Definitely buying the tuna too, because I don't want to deal with that. Sprinkler is interesting as well. It's cheaper than it would cost to buy the materials from Clint, so I'll buy that. I think it's just like agencies for 200. I'll buy the ancient seed, why not? That was a sexy cart. The tuna was huge. Oh, I'm feeling good now. Meantime, put some pumpkins there. And the crayons are ready. When are pumpkins ready if you plant them on the first day of the month, on the 13th, right? It's either 13th or 14th. It's one of those two. Wait, what? Cranberries only give one? I thought Sal said they almost always give two. These crops do suck. Oh, no, they do give two. Never mind. I was like, god damn, these things suck. I mean, they still do suck. If you're playing a normal playthrough, don't do what I'm doing, okay? Don't listen to this. <laughs> One denial. Okay, all right, chat. All right, stage one denial. All right. Pumpkin day and big traveling cart day. We got two quality pumpkins so far. Probably should have put down some fertilizer. In fact, I'm gonna go do that really quick. Well, actually, let's see how many quality pumpkins we got first. So it might be unnecessary. Okay, it's completely unnecessary. All right, baby. Show me what you got, Mrs. Traveling Cart. Show me what you got, I'm Traveling Cart. Goat cheese. That would also help me out a lot. Now I don't even really have to build a barn or like a big barn. All right, goat cheese it is. Thank you, Miss Cart Lady. Why are you being so, so nice to me recently? Summer Spangle, I forgot to grow. So I will buy that as well. <laughs> Not the best use of my money, but I definitely forgot to do that. So awesome, this is actually going really well. Ooh, farming level eight. Today is the fair. Don't want to go to the fair. Having another scarecrow would be nice, but I can't really be bothered. And then this is the day that my cranberry should be ready. Here we go. Nice. Oh my God, the crows. Get, get, go on, get. They're slowly picking this poor little crop family apart. Okay, traveling cart day, so let's go check. Let's go check on traveling cart day. Please give me something nice. Pufferfish, yam seeds, coleslaw, large egg. Why the heck not? Tired of waiting. We've gotten a lot of them from the cart already, luckily. A lot of the fish that we need. And by a lot, I mean like five but that's still a good amount. It's never getting the initial ones that's hard. It's, you know, getting the the last leg of the journey ones. Snow yam, cheese. We'll take cheese and the large egg. Now I can sell all my chickens. Nice! <laughs> get the hell out of here, chickens. Okay, large egg and cheese, baby. Chat, where do you get a preserve jar for? You get a preserve jar as one of the rewards, but I forget for which one. Quality crops bundle give preserve jars? Oh, really? I'm gonna go turn that in today then. You know, let's just do a community center turn in day while we're here. And then way back, we can check the fruit bat cave. Okay. Boop. Nice! And then this gives us preserve jar, which is really nice. And then we can put boom. Boom, pomegranate. We're just missing two more. I don't want to give my apple up. Oh, we still need goat's milk, I realized. And we need wool. Well, if we can just get one of the milks from the cart, then we only need to build a coop. All right. Um, boop, 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 boop. Bee house! Oh, wait, we can do bee. Then we can just do jam and honey. Nice, so we don't even really need to check the fruit back cave, but I will. Okay, then we should start building a barn, baby. That's gonna be expensive, but... And this would be an ocean fish. The tuna! And then, oh, sunflower, then chef's poppy as well. Oh no, shit, we should have used the pomegranate in the enchanter's bundle instead of using it in the freaking artisan bundle. That was dumb. You know what? Just for the little dopamine that it gave me, worth it. Okay, let's move this thing, finally. Oh, you can get rid of little acorns that way. I didn't know that. That was nice. And you know what? Watch this. But you didn't know you could do that. All right, let's put that there. That's going to be a lot easier. All right, now let's check the fruit bat cave. All right, finally, we can check what's in the fruit bat cave. Better be something good. I went through kind of heaven and hell to get here. Oh my God, it was actually really good. It was very much worth it. Because <laughs> now we can finish the artisan bundle, which is really pog. Because we have cherries here. All this crap in here, not a single apple. All right, let's go drop some of this stuff off. So that way we know we don't have to keep any of it. Okay, cherry, orange. Pog! 
And a keg. That's nice. I need to go put the purple mushroom in the exotic foraging bundle because we already have one on our farm, thankfully, for Mr. Wiz. Purple mushroom. Perfect. There we go. We are clanging down on these bundles. We're making huge progress. So what we need to save is the pomegranate. Everything else can be sold. So I'm actually just going to go sell this really quick. And you know what? Don't need you stupid chickens anymore anyway, so you can get sold as well. I have no need for you. Be gone! So let's sell all this crap in our inventory. There we go. Don't even need this chocolate cake, really. Okay, that's a relief. And then I'm just gonna go up and sell the last of all that stuff. Because then I can also bring the chest back down with me. And, like, use that as, like, a my downstairs chest. I sold a plum. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, and I sold the pomegranate? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Oh, I always confuse them. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Oh, that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. I can already tell. <laughs> that's pretty funny though, you have to admit. That's pretty freaking funny, honestly. I sold the apples too? Did I? No way. I sold both apples? Oh god, that was stupid. Oh my god. I was just in autopilot. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that was dumb. Perhaps reset the day. No, it's been a long day. I'm not resetting. Let's buy an apple tree next year. This will probably take like four years to total anyway so level six foraging though gotta chalk it up to that no wait i didn't sell the apples guys yes i did no and i was lucky enough to be one of the chosen few to get two apples it's good content it's good content guys quality sprinkler is pretty good honestly i will take the sprinkler but that's it i need to put this somewhere eventually i'm just gonna put it here for now until i remember where i should put it there should be good cart time and also cranberries and also we need to get the purple mushroom and then i'm probably gonna keg all these pumpkins so i won't sell any of them because i have like a long winter ahead of me new space in our inventory thankfully thank you owl statue for protecting the purple mushroom i couldn't have done this without you Ooh, and another one that's trying to hide from me oh there's a strange capsule that's no, too far away okay sell the pickles we can definitely sell the crayons we can sell the corn common mushroom purple mushroom we should keep i don't think we need chanternelles for anything or whatever shatternelles well, i don't know what the hell they're called um, don't need that, don't need that. Sell these and I'll sell that. This I'll save just in case I need it. I don't think I do though. And then let me grab the purple mushroom. Thank you. Perfect! Level 9 farming. Damn. I didn't check the traveling car yesterday, I just realized. But it's okay. These things happen. I almost was like, wait, can I even talk to the wizard? And I was like, ah, never mind. I've been donating. It's like, I haven't just haven't talked to any NPCs. I was like, oh no! And then I was like, oh wait, I've been going to the community center like every day. <laughs> so I think I'm good there. Now, something else I should probably do in a uh, winter is upgrade my tools. Because I want to start like clearing out the farm a little bit. Five bat wings is actually kind of good. I'll take the five bat wings. I know it seems like a waste, but less time I have to spend in the mines, the better. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Guys, played through a good long chunk and we're on a really good path. Next time I stream this, we're gonna be focusing on the mines um, because that's like, we're gonna go to the wizard's birthday and then we're gonna get the jade and then we're gonna sleep and then just do crystallarium jades and then we can finish the vault. And then I'll probably need one more year after that. And then we'll focus on all the last things we need, like all the fishing stuff. And there'll be like some odds and ends from the bulletin board. So yeah, thank you guys all so much. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.